102 in the afternoon and we're heading south to Contra Costa County and just gotten out of Tehama County Juvenile Hall. I went in there um, <clears throat> with some pretty uh, interesting expectations. I wasn't quite sure how I was going to deal with 17 boys what I was going to be able to say to them, you know, and the closer I got to, the closer I got, got there, the closer I got, all these ideas started coming into my head, and I wanted to think of a way to start the whole presentation to kind of create a slight bond between all of us, and, um, so basically what I did was I, um, I um, asked everybody questions, and uh, to, I asked them to raise their hand if, if it related to them. And for some reason, I think my mic is screwing up here. Hold on. Okay, there we go. And, uh, sorry, it's been an emotional two hours. Um, Every single one of these kids, there were set. There were um, it ended up being um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten boys, and one girl. And um, God bless them all. You know, they were all these just lost little souls trying to just make it in, on the planet, and uh, <clears throat> all of them had been victims in one way or another when they were little. One boy's mother was pregnant with twins, and his dad got drunk, and they got into a fight, and the dad left and came back and kicked the crap out of the mom, and she lost the twins, and then she died. And then the dad went to prison, and the two little kids, he and his little sister, were put into foster care and moved all over the place. And just one thing after another, one thing after another for each and every one of these kids. You know, most of these kids have been in and out of juvenile hall five, six, seven times. But the one thing that kept coming up was they wish they never had to leave. was the happiest place that they could be, that was the safest they felt. A lot of kids were in gangs because they didn't have parents. Almost all the kids' parents were drug addicts or alcohol, drug addict alcoholics. Um, there were a couple of kids, there was one kid, kind of a jock, cute kid. He'd never been in before and he was in for quite a while for arson. They have fireworks over the 4th of July, and he was a good kid, and very polite. They all were polite. You know what? Every last one of them was incredibly polite. It had such respect. They were so respectful to me, and, and it really... I had so much respect for all of them. One kid turned 18 yesterday, and, um, He's going to go back to back to Manchester and live with his sister and get a good job. And I hope he does okay. We talked about a lot of things. There's a lot of things on the videotape. It's just really hard to talk about it because I understand that there's a lot of you know there's a lot of a lot of people face a lot of strife all over the world. And I know there's starving children in third world countries, but there's tons of kids in this country who are so lost and have absolutely no one. And I really think it's important to give incredible, incredible praise to the staff and to the superintendent of the Tehama County Juvenile Hall because she's been there for 29 years this year. She's my age and um, 
they love those kids so much and they they show them such respect and they work so hard with them and and you know the kids kept saying their favorite thing in the whole wide world was to go to camp and how much they loved fishing and swimming and hiking and doing things that normal kids or that all kids should be able to do but it's really difficult when you raise your children without respect when you raise your children with violence when you and your husband are beating on each other and all your child sees is this horrific injustice and that's all they know and boys they go through life just keeping it really quiet and then it comes out in rage and they lash out at other people they hurt the women that they're with And all they want, really, is to be happy. That's really all they want. I got to talk to him for two hours. And, um... The pictures were so cool. <laughs> and the drawings and the words that they had were so amazing. They asked us if we would come back at the end of the tour. And I told them they would be the last stop at the end of the tour that we would come back and share with them what we had experienced. I just can't wait to see them all. God, we humans are so cruel to each other. We have no idea the damage that we're doing. We have no idea the damage that we are doing.